And how did we make it? <laughs> how did we make it at day? <laughs> but I remember, you know, when we first met, you were, and we were in the seventh grade. You know, you was a first, the new boy at school and everything, all girls running around. Y'all see the new boy at school? Y'all see the new boy at school? Amen. But how we all uh, began to date, that's when we met, uh, when we began to date was, um, Bottom was real good to me. She helped me get my freshman ball date, my sophomore ball date. By my junior year, I began to be a big boy. Then I got my own date for the junior prom. In the senior prom, I end up with my bride for, that I have today for over 50 years. And she, um, we met one day and had a date. And I promised one thing that I would never hurt her. And I think at 50 years, she said the same thing that I had never hurt her. He has never hurt me. Always a good guy. And I never had to work. Did I need to work? Yeah. But uh, I couldn't work because we have two special needs sons. Thomas, uh, Thomas Darrell and Aaron Boyd. And so I had to be a housewife. I had to be a mother to them. Amen. And throughout the year, every girl grew older and I really began, I always have liked her, but I began to find out what love is all about and we all fell in love with each other and today to uh, for her to be the woman that she is today is, is amazing because she's a wonderful mother and she is a good wife and she take care of her sports. Bishop called her the queen of the house in which she is and I hope the Lord and I have treated her as the queen that she deserved to be today. And you know, we've been married at least six times by the bishop. And last two years ago, we got married with, with the, bishop, the bishop and his wife by his son, Pastor Renato Ward. And so tonight, we're just going to do it ourselves. If we mess up, remember, we already married for 50 years. And the uh, first time this young lady and I went on a date, uh, the uh, first baseman, I played first base with baseball team, a good friend of mine played second. Matter of fact, he was her boyfriend at that time. And my another friend of mine played second shortstop. And together, my wife-to-be and the shortstop got together and, and tricked me to be her date for singing senior ball. That's all she wanted was a date. But look how they ain't turned out 50 years later, she still got me. So we went out to date that night at the football game and, and our conversation and talking, one thing that I told her, I would never hurt you. And 50 years later, we still here, she's still here with me. And I, I thank God for that. And we first met, I should have said that, first when we met, she was a little five, four foot, 1,100 pound pound that played uh, what on the Pep scored, scored, and we just had on, um, and I played sports, so we rode the bus together. So we go back way back, and she was a good friend of mine because she um she got me meet my freshman ball date, my sophomore ball. By my junior year, I'm growing up to be a big boy, and my senior year, she was my date, and I've been dating her ever since. I was always a housewife because we have special needs sons, and. They have fragile X syndrome, which is a genetic thing from the female to the boy babies. And so my grandmother, my mother, my sister, and I, we all have special needs sons. 
and you know we thank God for them and everything and they are the sweetest young men you ever want to see and they graduated from Avon Atlantic School and it was graduation time and George Guy was in charge of bringing Aaron we we had uh, we had a reservation at uh, Applebee's and that was like 25, 26 years ago. And we had invited the people from the church and uh, Daryl was going with us and so Aaron said he was going with Joyce. So we left them at the school and we went on, on to uh, Applebee's and we just came and where Aaron? She said, y'all, Aaron went home with y'all. I said, no, Aaron didn't come, come to the restaurant with us. And we were just, everybody was so excited, you know, we were just panicking. panicking. Yeah, we was panicking and everything. We didn't know where our son was, you know. He couldn't speak, you know. If somebody asked him who he was or where he was going, he couldn't tell him. And so we waited, we waited until Tom was going to get ready to get in the car and go back to the school. We went too far from the school. And then Bunny Benson pulled up with Aaron. She said, I heard somebody, Aaron have a uh, particular sound. She said, I heard him in the bathroom singing. And she said, Aaron boy, what are you doing in there? And he said, I'm going home with my parents. She said, boy, your parents gone. Come on, get in this car so I can take you to your parents. And so when he got to the restaurant, all was right with the world again. Buddy, you know, we got started a little community called Senatoga, Mississippi, where we grew up at. We schooled together, together, and where we felt in love. Mm -hmm. We got married by just up to peace back in Senatoga. You always wanted a, to be married in the church. So on our 10th anniversary, Bishop Ward married us again. And after that, we had renewed our vow at least six different times. Mm -hmm. So let's call this number seven. Number seven. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, will you be my wife? I will. And Thomas, you know, the sixth time we got married, it was with Bishop at their 50th wedding anniversary. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, will you be my husband again. Yes, I will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, as you notice, we put our rings on the right hand, on the right, uh, on the right pointing finger, because this is near our heart. This ring have been with us through hard times and bad times. This is the new beginning, and we hope it, it will be even better than the old beginnings. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. As you can see, looking at this picture, this is one of our family picture with uh, our two sons and our daughter, who we're taking in as our own. God did bless us with a daughter, so we are raised Bridget. As you see, as you can see, this picture goes way back. There's no gray hair on my head or my <laughs> ear. So uh, we thank God for, for this poetry. We thank God for the opportunity that we have to uh, with Bridget in our life. She was a different maker in this home, and we thank God for her and the boys. She was a big help to them. And my name, what do you like about the picture? Um, I like that well, y'all really favor with the glasses on and everything, but I like the way uh, she would treat the boys. And so she had her own room and she would dare the boys to step across that line to come into her room. And Daryl would tell her, you not the boss of me. And he would go across the, the, the step across the rope anyway. And Bridget done well. Now she out of sister living in Texas with her sons and daughters, and uh, she does, she uh, raising them. She done a really good job. I'm very proud of her, and I think they hope that we did something along the way to inspire her to be the best that she can be. A 
we know that trouble's gonna come, but how do you work through adversity and trouble? Pray. Might it take a little bit more than that's pray. If you and I are upset with each other, you go your way, I go my way. Something we have to, that we say we don't mean to say, and we got to go, even if I'm right, it don't matter who right or who wrong, we got to solve that problem. Because uh, we cannot go to bed mad and upset with each other. We, we have to, we have a family, we got to set an example. So no matter what happened, somehow figure out to make up be, between each other. We cannot have that division. That's all the devil want to have that division. So something hard about it, we can look upset over nothing. It's hard about it. The most thing, important thing is to love each other. You love your wife and she loves you. That, 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 you won't have these problems. You have to make up and be able to accept those mistakes and go forward with it. All right, boys, y'all tell me, what does it take to stay married for 50 years in this uh, generation that we're in now? I would say commitment and the love of God. Also, I, I would like to say a lot of marriage started with 50 50. You give 50%, you give 50%, but it takes more than that. It takes 100% for each one husband and wife, give 100% of self to each other. It's no 50-50 here. You do half of this, I do that. It takes a team giving it 100% as a team. And and no doubt, it, it works a lot better with the Lord in your life. And you allow Him to guide you, direct you, and all that you do. I thank God for being in our life that uh, we can celebrate our 50 years and we have been together 50 years. We haven't left each other. We haven't divorced each other. I mean, separated or did anything. We've been here together and um, it's been good. Uh, really good and I thank God for it. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Thomas, that was beautiful. But I think you should pray for, not only for us, but let's Pray for all the marriages. Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for all you've done. Yes, not Lord. only in our life, in our marriage, Lord. Yes. Lord, you tested the marriage cover throughout Touch, this Lord. world, Lord. Yes. Let them be able to understand, the Lord, they put you yes. first in their life. Yes. No matter what they're going through, that they can make it together, Father. Yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, Lord. Lord, let them trust you. Let them yes. make them control their life to your hand, Lord. Yes, let Lord. them recognize, Lord, that you is God. And all things is possible for God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for these couples, Lord. Yes. And Lord, we ask that they marry will last 50 years, yes, 60 Lord. years, yes, 70 Lord. years. And Lord, we thank you for it. Thank in Jesus' you, name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Amen.